Hey Deckers, Exo Primal is now live. You can also get this on Game Pass if you have access to Windows, but if you're wanting to play this on Steam Deck, then Steam version it's going to be. Huge thanks to Capcom for providing us a game key for this one, and you'll be pleased to know that everything is working perfectly fine out of the box, including the cutscenes. Officially marked as playable ahead of time, we knew that this was going to be okay from our beta testing as well. Settings wise, our recommended settings for this one is to start with the medium graphics preset and then just tweak things a little bit by scrolling down to pretty much the bottom, turning off motion blur and ambient occlusion down to low, keeping anti-aliasing on and turn on the variable rate shading. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but a lot of the settings don't seem to make a huge amount of difference. The variable rate shading is the one that seems to keep things the most stable and in all modes you're going to be dipping down to 30 frames per second in pretty much all of the fights. So keeping this on medium gives you much better graphical fidelity as well as you getting decent frames. I do absolutely love the effects of being able to swap suits in game and during matches to suit your abilities especially if you've got more than one class in a team it's good to be able to swap out on the fly. Graphics and the gameplay of this have been massively improved since the open beta, including the addition of being able to choose your PvP or PvE mode. But if you keep it on random so you don't know whether you'll get a PvP or PvE match, you actually get a 12 times experience boost. So quite handy if you don't mind a bit of each. The thing that I'm not so keen on is the fact that this still has in-app purchases for cosmetics and also a season pass. You get the deluxe version which we were provided, you do get the season 1 season pass and the head start kit, which is a few extra cosmetics rolled in, otherwise it's going to cost you around £8 to get the survival pass, which pretty much gives you the price of the deluxe version from standard anyway, so do think about that when you make the initial purchase, but if the season pass is going to be £8 every time they release a new season, and that could be quite annoying. But the game is extremely fun and the graphics are incredibly good. And the fact that this is playing absolutely rock solid on the Steam Deck is a huge bonus. I've been having an absolute blast with this one and the inbuilt story that is wrapped around a lot of the multiplayer stuff is also very interesting. Let's to excuse a few of the audio dips, I've been having a few issues with my official Steam Deck dock recently. I don't know why, but sometimes the audio just cuts out for a couple of seconds but this doesn't seem to be an issue when you're playing locally. You may be asking what about adding FSR 2? Well that adds an incredible amount of blur in this game and it really doesn't look that great even with sharpening at 1 and it doesn't make a huge difference if any at all to the frames per second. So keeping FSR 2 off with these settings that we mentioned earlier is definitely the best way to play on this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.